Welcome to Belgrade, Serbia's most dangerous hood, Block 44, New Belgrade, home of Brutus architecture and the overspill housing to the city of Belgrade. Now recently, one of my subscribers in one of my videos, Is Serbia Dangerous? Go check it out, link is in the description down below. He said it's far too dangerous for foreigners to go and check out Block 44, New Belgrade. So obviously, my curiosity got the better of me. I looked online and various people said New Belgrade is an area where street crimes can even occur in the daytime, so I best be on my toes. There is a homicide rate of 1 per 100,000 inhabitants here, which is very low, but strangely, 40 out of 100 households have guns apparently. Okay, let's go and check out Block 44. There's definitely a lot of cool artwork here. This is Tupac. And as you can see, it says there, you see the old way wasn't working, so it's on us to do what we gotta do to survive. Legend. And round the corner here we've got Al Pacino. This was taken from one of my favourite films, Scarface. Absolutely love that film. And here he is again, just chilling out with his big bag of Polish marching powder. Just wandering onto this bit of wasteland. And I can see a bit of graffiti here. It says Stu. I didn't do that, wasn't me. <laughs> That's cool to see. Just go around here. Looks like some unused buildings. Lots of graffiti on the walls as well. Go watch me footing. Somebody's uh, took a dump round here, which is nice. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but if you can let me know in the comments section, I'll be very interested to know. I've got to say, I don't think there'll be any crooks out today or any muggings taking place because it's absolutely freezing. Winter is here. Just got drawn in by this graffiti here, it's nothing special but it says Black Sabbath, big up Birmingham. The park is empty. It's normally where a few deals take place. Yeah, definitely too cold for people today. Well, a good deed for the day. I just helped an elderly lady start a car. Not many gangsters about, but elderly ladies in broken down cars. I've got to say, it's quite a nice area and people are really friendly. I was expecting it to go off proper. I don't know what my subscribers are on about. He said, take a weapon down here. He said, you won't be safe. Yeah, really lovely place. But well, I'm from Birmingham, so anything's lovely to me. Here we go, a few empty beer bottles. There has been action here, maybe last night. There we go, got a football pitch over in the background. And moving over to here, we've got some gym apparatus. Get a bit of a sweat on. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, it's been mainly old people and women with babies around here. Nobody's approached me for any money. Feel very safe. Here we go, a few shops around here. That's selling my favourite beer, love. It looks closed at the moment, which is a shame. A salon here, an eatery. And next to that, we've got a betting shop with its own roulette table. Welcome to the new Belgrade Vegas. Well, I've literally been all around Block 44 now, and I've got to say, it's been pretty uneventful. It's not as dangerous and as scary as people are making out. It's quite a nice place to live, like I said earlier. Okay, I'm on the park in Block 44. This is Lav. He's got the same name as my favourite beer. That's a real cool name. Uh, we were just talking earlier about Block 44 and you've lived here all your life. Uh, yes. um, what's it like? Is, is it dangerous? Well, it's not really dangerous. Uh, well, of course, if you get involved with uh, gangsters or bad people, of course, it can be dangerous. There's always drugs in the world somewhere. Uh, but uh, it's not really that bad. It's a good life. Uh, yeah. Not that uh, dangerous, of course. At night time, it's a little bit more dangerous. Don't go like in some alleys alone and stuff. Rice, rice. Okay. Can 
rob you or something, but not that dangerous. Yeah, so yeah. It's actually pretty nice. Here. Yeah, I've got, I've got to agree. Like I said to you earlier, uh, basically, I, I, I come from Birmingham, and there's a lot of stuff that goes on there. But I think it's a really nice area. You know, I've just just met yourself and your friends, and I've got, I've got to say, really nice place and nice people as well. So. I just think uh, people, you know, say about certain places, oh, don't go here or don't go that. But I understand what you're saying. Late at night, going down dark alleys yeah, and getting involved with gangsters, then there could be problems then. Yeah, yeah. but uh, except from that, it's actually really peaceful and nice. Yeah. There's always good and bad people. Mostly they're yeah. good. I didn't have many interactions with bad people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's nice. I lived all my life here and... Uh, Pretty nice. Oh, fair play, fair play. Well, like I say, it's been nice talking to you, Lav, and uh, yeah, I'll come here again. I really like this place. Well, there you go. Lav's a nice kid, and his friends were too, and they confirm what I think. Block 44 is a nice place to live, but don't get involved in any gangster business. That goes without like saying anywhere in the world. If you're going to get involved in that lifestyle, there's going to be trouble. But yeah, Block 44, no problem at all, and really friendly people that live here. Okay, that's the end of my tour of Belgrade, Serbia's most dangerous hood. It was very pleasant. If you like this content, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Zivoli!